What's that? What was it like for you to win coming back here? Uh, we've been back here before, you know, so kind of the newness of the new. Um, I don't look at it that way. You know, it's not about me. It's about our team and, and, and our, our fans, an incredible representation of our fans. Um, you know, worried about what we can do better. How hard is it to keep the balance of Mercy and getting Marcus and other players? I couldn't hear you. How hard is it for you to balance Mercy with <laughs> playing Marcus in the third quarter in that time? I didn't really think about Mercy, you know. Uh, uh, that's a good. That's a good program. You know, a proud program, and, and we're not. We're not in the embarrassment business. We're not in the statistics business. Uh, you know, and we don't think about that. We don't think about individual awards. We don't think. You know, that's just not not our deal. We wanted to get in a rhythm, uh, offensively, and get him out. You said you challenged your defense at half. What'd you tell them? I just didn't think we were, you know, it was pretty simple. I just didn't think we were playing up to to our normal kind of level, uh, our frenzied level of, of, you know, attacking and tackling and finishing. Um, and we were up and down, you know, a little bit, but but uh, they, they really finished finished well. How about the way they buckled down in the red zone? Now? Huge, huge. They did a great job of that, you know. And that's what we were trying to tell them. Uh, to a certain extent, they were just one or two plays. You know, hit a, you hit a double move for a huge play, you hold them to a field goal, that's okay. You know, you hit a, a double reverse or whatever it was, or a reverse pass for, for a, a huge play, or that was a touchdown, I guess, right? Uh, so we don't like those. But, uh, you know, if you if you hold the end result to, to a field goal, you know, you, you limit the limit the bleeding. How were you able to shut down Paul Richardson in the huge plays? <laughs> we didn't shut down Paul Rich, Rich, Richardson very much. Uh, you know, I thought we, we played a little bit better as, as the, the day went on. But that guy, wow. That, that, you know, a couple of those one-handed catches, it was – that guy's impressive. Very good football player. Mark, was all your passing part of the game plan, or was DeAnthony's absence a part of that as well? Um, not not consciously. You know, maybe subconsciously we thought of it that way a little bit more, but uh, just kind of how the game came to us in a lot of ways, and and in the game planning process, just kind of what we liked. Why did Colt Lyola not make the trip? Colt Colt Lyola was suspended for for a game for a violation of team rules, and uh, he'll be back. Uh, at treatment tomorrow, and we'll have every opportunity to go from here. Can you say where you are as a team right now? Do you feel like you're where you want to be? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, I think we're five and zero, and that's that's our best statistic. Um, and we haven't played, you know, remotely to 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 what we can in any phase in any game, and so that's encouraging. And and. Uh, again, the guys that we have on this team know that, and they got, they're excited to get better and excited to come to work uh, and, and get ready on, on, on Monday. You've obviously blown everybody out uh, pretty convincingly. Which in some ways, I, I'm sure you like the big victories, but would you have liked to have been in a close game heading into this season? <laughs> not really. No, no. I'm, I don't. I don't. You know, I think you can. I think you can respond to adversity on Tuesday at practice, you know, you know what I mean, of, of our guys have a lot going on right now with, with class and all the things that go on and, and, you know, whether it's a family issue or what, you know, whatever it is, guys, guys have to focus and be dialed in, in the moment, uh, regardless of, of the outside conditions. Part of that is, like you're saying, scoreboard or, or game situation. Um, but yeah, we'll take, if we can arrange for however many games we're going to play and they'll all be like this, we'll take that. Mark, how do you prepare for that kitchen sink mentality that guys like Mike are going to throw at you to just try and get off to a hot start? Just right? doing your job, you know, playing hard. And we talk about playing fast, playing physical, and playing fundamentally sound. And part of that is if I'm a DB, you know, I'm, I'm doing my job. I'm not peeking in the backfield and trying to help, help somebody else out or, or I'm in the coverage. I'm not, you know, uh, biting something or, you know, whatever, whatever it may be offensively, uh, you know, letting things come to you uh, at quarterback with, you know, our second, third guy made some, some decisions that will coach better. Um, but, you know, just doing your job. Eye discipline, all those, all those things you talk about. Mark, I realize this might sound a little ridiculous, but do you have any concerns with Marcus not playing in the fourth? Just historically, I mean, I think he's only played in fourth, fourth quarter. Do I have any concerns? Yeah, just so you know, it hasn't been any high pressure games or. Well, I think I think every I think every time you step on the field is a high pressure situation. You know, uh, of first and ten on the twenty in the first quarter is a high pressure situation, and and certainly for a guy like that that has an incredibly high expectation level for himself, you know, is a is a is a pressure situation. But we you know we like to talk about preparation and, and limiting pressure. You know, if we prepare great, we do everything we can to kind of take care of our end of the process. The other stuff happens. You said I didn't. Yeah. Can you appreciate though what he's doing this year? I mean, 
Oh my, yeah, I mean Mark Marcus is a stud. I mean he's he's you know he's just such a he's such a great person first and foremost, and then he's oh by the way an incredible football player, um, and you know he's he the stuff he does in practice again it, it, we look at each other and kind of shake our head and that's you know that shows up in games and that's the neat part about him about DeAnthony about some of our best defensive players is they're great practice players not good practice players but great practice players and that's infectious. What else set, sets him apart from other players? Uh, well, I mean, he, physically, he's he's very gifted. Obviously, his size, his speed, uh, his release, his timing, his his knowledge. He's he's a smart guy. He's a tough guy. Um, is that enough? Uh, I'm trying to. Think. Uh, you know, he he's a yeah, he's a superlative machine. He's a he's a great guy. You 